Africans! Ah, What's up fight fans, welcome to the African Fighters. Today we're going to be talking about Francis Ngannou and his head coach Eric Nixick. Eric Nixick um, this week was going viral in an interview he did with MMA junkie Eric Nixick stated that Francis Ngannou changed his life. In this impassionate and emotional interview, Eric Nixick stated how Francis Ngannou is an incredible human being, how Francis Ngannou is a humble and selfless human being. He talked about Francis Ngannou taking care of all his coaches and uh, a very good person. He also talked about Francis Ngannou impact in in um his gym, which is the extreme um Coachell MMA gym in Las Vegas. How Francis Ngannou bought uh, a gym mat worth it between eight thousand to to ten thousand dollars for the gym, a gym with a size of twenty four thousand square feet. The emotional part of this interview is where Eric Nixick disclosed that when he looked at his Wells Fargo um, bank account and saw the paycheck from Francis Ngannou, it got him emotional. He broke down and um, it was a life-changing money. I said the money changed his life. He's now able to take his children on holidays, do things for himself. And uh, this is just incredible to hear. This is incredible to know. And um, he, he also stated that this payment is the money from Francis Ngannou's um, last boxing fight against um, Tyson Fury. Um, in that fight, it was reported that Francis Ngannou got $10 million, 8 to $10 million. So he said this amount he got was more than the money Ngannou paid him for both um, his title, UFC title fight against TP and his title defense against Cyril Gunn. So this is just incredible. And he also stated that he was the second coach in the boxing fight. He wasn't the head coach. Dewey Cooper was the head coach. He was the assistant coach because he is the MMA coach. But since it was a boxing fight, he was the assistant coach. So this is just marvelous. We all knew how incredible Fancy Singano is. We all knew how, how great of a person he is. I am going to say this and I'm going to say this boldly. When it is all said and done, when it is all over, Francis Ngannou is going to go as one of the greatest combat sport athletes of all time. One of them. He's going to be in that realm, just a little bit behind the uh, Muhammad Ali, um, Mike Tyson in combat sport. He's just an incredible human being. So I'm going to mention some few things about Francis Ngannou that a lot of people don't know about. Francis Ngannou has been doing this charity work for a long time. He has been helping people. He has the Francis Ngannou Foundation in... Um, in um in his in his town in in his hometown in his village in Batia Cameroon, where he has set up an MMA gym, helping youths the um, youngsters in this country to take combat sport as a career, as and also to know how Francis Ngannou is humbled, you also know maybe you don't know he worked in a sign mine. At age of ten. He has been doing that, and when he go back to Cameroon, Francis Ngannou is so humble, so um carefree he socializes with, his, with people make them feel like he's one of them he has no ego he goes and eats in the buka publicly we can see people chasing him he goes back to that signed mine and join those boys working in the signed mine just to encourage them he also do that as fun he loves doing that francis ngannou and also one thing you need to know that what led francis ngannou leaving the ufc was because he could not bargain or could not negotiate with them or to go what ufc wanted Francis Ngannou was advocating for fighters' rights. He was asking for fighters' pay to be increased, not just his pay. Because also it was reported that Francis Ngannou was offered by the UFC $8 million for three fights, which is very possible, which he could have um, took at that time. But he wanted fighters' pay. He was campaigning for fighters' welfare. He was also asking for health insurance for the fighters, which the UFC are never going to um, agree to. And so that led to the breakup, and that's why Francis Ngannou kind of um, left the belt and left the UFC without resigning with the company, with the promotion, which hurt Dana White's feeling. But that's his first thing. People see him as being stubborn, but people don't know he's just a man that stands for himself. And a lot of people need to know this, need to do this in their life. Stand for yourself and um, don't be arrogant, but know when to negotiate, know when to say no, know when to say yes. And that's what Francis Ngannou did and left and bet on himself and went to the PFL. He is currently the PFL African chairman. He also an advocate for fighters in the PFL. And also, he got the biggest fight pay ever 
so far in his career and more to come he got the tyson fury fight in a fight which a lot of people believe he won he dropped tyson fury in that fight and he got between eight to ten million dollars in one fight something the ufc offered for three fight if that was true so this is francis gano incredible story incredible story and um and i'm wish him all the best like i mentioned he's going to go down as one of the greatest uh combat sport athletes of all time maybe top five when it is all said and done you can take francis gano's story and talk about it in one million times it never gets old you can do a movie i think there's going to be a movie about this story definitely when it is all said and done so let's not get too carried away. Frank Singano is still not yet done with his career. He still has a lot to offer to us. He still has a lot to give to the sport, both boxing and MMA. So what do you think is next for Frank Singano in 2024? Do you think we're going to see him first in the ring, circle, or do you think we're going to see him in the octagon? There's a speculation about him fighting Anthony Joshua next in March in the, in the red season, closing red season. Let us know, is that fight what you want to see? And also about PFL Africa. How do you think this is going to happen? Do you think PFL are coming to Africa very soon? With Francis Ngannou being the chairman, how do you think the sport will grow in Africa? Lastly, if you want to know how much Eric Nixick got from Francis Ngannou, the life-changing paycheck, click on this video to see my breakdown. Make sure to like our video, subscribe to our channel, turn on post notifications, see you some other time. Peace out. Bye for now, African fighters. Come on, Africans! Ah,